So, we're back. This is week 18 of OSCP. You haven't heard from me guys since uh, week 11. So this is seven, it's been seven weeks since I provided an update on my OSCP status. Happy to report. Uh, I've been, been officially back for one week. Um, and every, you know, the weeks before that I was doing Hack the Box and uh, <clears throat> reading a lot of books. But uh, so for this first week back, week 18, I'm happy to announce that I've officially rooted two boxes. Um, I don't know if I can say the names of the boxes. As the video progresses, I might just go ahead and tell you. But I'm excited because I, I came back on my first day uh, last Saturday or Sunday. Um, I, I, got, I rooted a box. Uh, it was a box that I was working on back in October when I first lost access. So I had a little bit of a head start there. Um, so I did that. And then uh, was it yesterday? Maybe yesterday or the day before I rooted the second box. So I'm here. To, I'm going to talk to you about my journey, obviously, as you already know. Um, but I do. I did have a question. I'm going to ask you guys. Maybe somebody from Offsec, if they catch this video, maybe they can answer. But I'm starting to realize, you know, I'm, it's a learning process. So uh, you know, as the days go by, I spend hours on a box. I'll read. I'll I'll study or whatever. But I'm realizing, and at least the two boxes that I just that I rooted this week, um, for whatever reason, I'm noticing that the exploits that I've chosen that have worked aren't working 100% of the time. Um, and it's a little frustrating because, uh, for instance, the first box that I, I rooted last week, I decided to use an exploit that I was using back in October that for whatever reason for two or three days would not work. I really felt strongly that it was the right route. Um, you know, I got confirmation from forums and hints from, from other other people, but it wouldn't work to save my life, you know, to save anybody's life. It just wouldn't work. So last week I got access back. I said, you know what, let me just try it. Maybe something happened. Maybe something changed. Maybe I'll get lucky. And I did. And <clears throat> I just ran it. It worked. I got in. I was able to prevest. <clears throat> and and the rest is history. But I wonder, I'm wondering if anybody else uh, has dealt with an exploit a particular exploit, whether through Metasploit or you know you're doing it manually, that some days it works and some days it doesn't. I wonder if there's a, a logical explanation. I know there's some people say, well, that's just the ghost in the machine, and um, you know computers, that's what they do. And, and I understand that part. I understand things can change with a system, um, but from my mind, my logical brain tells me there has to be a logical explanation for why something would have worked more than once in a consecutive fashion, especially computers are supposed to be logical, you know, ones and zeros are their code. Um, I know there's always flukes and things that go on with computers, but so for three days, so I'll put it this way. Uh, when I rooted the first box last Saturday, the exploit worked. Uh, you know, I got, I got the proof text. I didn't really loot that much. I was just too excited for getting where I, as far as I got, but the next day, I went back to loot, you know, enumerate some more, see if I could find some files or whatever, and the exploit would not work. So that was a little frustrating, knowing that I did nothing different. Uh, the only difference that I could tell was it's the 24-hour time lapse from the day before than that day uh, where when it wasn't working. So then I uh, I gave that a rest. I worked on another box, you know, did some some uh, enumeration and things like that and just started another box started I started the second box that I rooted yesterday um, so then the third day uh, I try again I go I go back to the, to the same machine try the same exploit and it works you know and so I was able to loop but I, at the still at the same time I'm like what's going on why is it working some days why is it not working other days I know that some of you guys will say uh, you, you know did you revert the box and yes I reverted the box um, all three days um, admittingly the, the first time in October when I was trying I did not revert the box for those two three days I don't know if they were reverted by someone else but I know I didn't do it so that could explain an issue back in October you know when I first lost access but this week you know it just it just didn't make sense to me so I don't know maybe if somebody has some explanation um, if you need to know the name of the box I can give you that I don't know if that makes a difference or not but I have a theory 
I could be wrong. Um, and actually, before I get into the theory, let me talk about the second box. So I did, I did wrote the second box yesterday, um, and I'm not too satisfied with that. I used Metasploit. I understand I have to do it manually so I can understand how to really do the, how to really, you know, get the, the, uh, the root uh, privileges. Um, but I found the, uh, the exploit in Metasploit. And that's another thing too. So, so it worked the first day, didn't work the second day, worked the third day. So there's, there's two instances now of 24 hour time periods in between, you know, me trying these exploits where it'll either work or it won't work. So I don't know if this is just something I'm going to have to get used to in OSCP. Like it's just something I'm going to experience throughout all, you know, my, my journey here with all 50 boxes. If, you know, I just try and exploit it. If it doesn't work or if I feel like it's the one, give it 24 hours and then try it and then it'll work. So back to my uh, my theory here. I, I was talking to a friend of mine and I told him what happened. Apparently he didn't experience that. But I was thinking to myself, you know, and I shared it with him. I said, you know, what if, you know, OFSEC is a, this, this whole course, this whole thing is a, a learning process. You know, the motto is try harder. So I was wondering if, if OFSEC is rotating virtual machines, uh, let's say one day they'll, they'll have the box and it'll be a patched version. Maybe some, some, some patches are applied and others aren't. And then the next day or in some type of rotation, they'll just switch the patches or whatever. I don't know. So that's what, what I feel like is happening. I could be ridiculously wrong. Um, it could just be my system. I mean, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But either way, it's, it's, even though I, I rooted two boxes uh, this week, and I'm definitely going to look at how to root the second one manually, it's a little frustrating to know that these things just won't work sometimes um, with in, without any rhyme or reason. And the only, the only thing that I can put my finger on is that it was a 24-hour difference. You know what I mean? It wasn't like five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, two hours, six hours. You know, I could try to experiment and see if that's what I experienced. But I know every time I gave these things a full 24 hours, and it was a totally different outcome than the day before. So um, that's what I'm noticing so far. Hit the comments if, if you've noticed something similar to that or if you have an explanation. Um, either way, I'm back in OSCP. Uh, I'm really excited to have these two. I know a lot of you guys will say, well, two isn't nothing. Well, again, I, I've only been back a week. Um, I totally, honestly, the first 60 days that I that I had back in August, September, um, I just wasted that. You know, I was, excuse me, I spent a lot of time in the book reading, and I was basically learning. So now that I'm back in the labs, I don't have to spend so much time reading. You know, I'm still going to read, obviously, but... I'm going to spend more time uh, attacking boxes. So this is week 18. I'm back. Um, maybe after this 30 days expires, I may renew. I'm not sure. Um, my, I know my deadline is coming up really quick. I, I wanted to take it late March, early April time frame. So we're, we're three, four months out. Uh, it's the end of the year now, so we're really like three, three months out. So, so. I'm definitely going to go harder on this. I'm going to keep you guys updated. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I appreciate you checking out the Tool Tuesdays and my other side things that I've been doing. I'm going to keep keep those up. Um, if you do like this video, if you have comments or you have experiences about, about these exploit issues, go ahead and hit the comments, like, share, and subscribe. Um, appreciate you guys, and I'll check you all later. Thanks.